Welcome to Transparent with Tina. I am Tina Marks, your host, and my guest today is a certified holistic nutritionist and a lifestyle cleanse expert. Welcome, Alyssa. Thank you, Tina. I'm honored to be here. I, I was honored. very excited about this. You know, it's so interesting. Before we get into your backstory and everything that you do, um, I've got to say, you know, I, I, I'm, I've never met you before. We've had very little interaction. Um, I believe in the universe bringing me people and synchronicity and all that. And, you know, I found you just, I rarely scroll, scroll through Instagram, but I, I did. And your page, I've got to tell, tell you, it caught my eye. It's so colorful. And I, the first time I stopped, I just looked at you and I went, that woman is glowing. Swear, swear on my son's life. And I was like looking at you going like you're, the whites of your eyes are so white and you, every, every, every post has got like, it's like a lot of colors around it. So that's how I found you. And I started reading and then I, I was like, I could not believe your age. I was like, oh. and that just was like, and, and wait till we get into this because you and I have so much in common. All right. So yeah. your backstory. So you were diagnosed with cancer at 32 Shortly yes. after that, you were diagnosed with hypothyroidism, Hashimoto's, and celiac disease, which I had yes. too. So I can. Yep. Mm -hmm. um, and then your husband got cancer. Eleven well. and a half years after my diagnosis, he was diagnosed with non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. I had I, non; he had Hodgkin's. Um, why do What's I always the difference think? between those two? That's what I thought I read. Yeah. You know, it's a, just different forms of lymphoma. So, uh -huh. and depending on, there's different, there's multiple like um, strains of Hodgkin's lymphoma, mm -hmm. um, non-Hodgkin's there, and there's just one form of Hodgkin's. So, and that's cancer of the lymph lymphatic system. Lymphatic system. Yeah. That's what got. Okay. So you decided to go the holistic way. Mm -hmm. they, they, the, the, your doctors wanted you to do chemo, correct? chemo, radiation, freeze oh. my eggs, you know, the whole, like, even like, even when I was being staged, the doctors are like, do you have a donor? Cause you might have to have a, you know, donor transplant. Um, it was, it was crazy how they take you down the rabbit hole. Um, yeah. And then I got lucky. So, so tell me how, how and why you made that decision not to do that because everybody probably thought you were crazy. Yeah, they did. Okay. And okay. Most, a lot of them didn't speak to me. They were scared shitless too of, you know, what was going to happen to me. But at the end of the day, my, st my stage was an early stage. So uh -huh. that also was in my benefit. Yeah. Right. And I had gone to see this third doctor's opinion at St. John's in, in Santa Monica. And he was an Asian radiologist. And he sat me down and looked at my sc scans and basically said early stage and said, what's going on in your life? Are you stressed? Are you happy? Do you mm -hmm. happily married? Do you love your job? You know, like he asked me all these personal questions. What was going on in your life prior to the, the diagnosis? And, you know, and I was like, wow, no one has asked me that except for a therapist, of course. Right. And I was like, I'm really, I'm, I don't even know what happy is. Like I was so stressed just living my life in the fast lane and living in fight or flight mode and trying to make, you know, make money and buy a house and have kids. And, you know, I just had no idea what not being stressed. I lived my life always stressed and I felt like that I got shit normal. done. That was stressed. normal. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. And, and wait, now he said, he said yeah, to me, he goes, we can, we can like get your mind straight. We can, we need to calm down your central nervous system. You know, you could get past this. Um, he's not saying not do treatment, but he just said that a lot of this is caused. And that was such an early stage of 30 years ago to say that of the stress and the sleep and the, yeah. you know, basically not being happy. He was way beyond, behind his years yeah. because beyond his years, because yeah, anybody from St. John, I would never even, especially 30 years ago, especially I 30 know. years ago. I, I know. you know, I had, so that was, again, the universe coming into play because what are the odds of that, right? Mm -hmm. um, when I, I got diagnosed with breast cancer uh, in 2011, I had just written my first book, which was called The Domino Effect, Fear Versus Faith. Okay. Right? 
And um, they wanted me to do radiation and the follow up with a drug called tamoxifen. When you read up on it, the first thing it says is it's a carcinogen. So yeah. I was completely in faith and I was just like, this doesn't resonate with me. And immediately after that, I was led, seriously led to three books. One was Dr. Robert Young's The Alkaline, The pH Miracle yeah. Diet. Mm -hmm. So I, I did that. Um, and then I read Dr. Gundry's book too. And I added a little bit of that, but seriously, that's all I did. I started eating 80% alkaline, 20% acidic. And right. um, that I've been cancer free since 2011. You know, yeah. and I'm so great. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. But it's the same thing, yeah. you know, and yeah. when people hear the C word that, you know, and I remember saying, cause a, a friend of mine got breast cancer was 10 years younger than me after that. She's no, no, no. If that was true that, you know, my doctor would tell me, but here's Ugh. what people don't know. Doctors only get what, maybe 45 minutes of nutritional training in, in their medical career. So mm -hmm. no, they wouldn't know. Right. And they know nothing about stress and lifestyle and, you know, they don't tap into that. They don't really tap into the to their patients. They don't have time to ask the patients what's going on in their life, you know, either. Right. But, and they also don't know because they're not trained on nutrition. Yeah. I mean, yeah. everybody knows, you know, food in a box is not going to be good for you. But we're going to take it a step forward. And this is what we're this is a lot of what we're going to be talking about today. Because you and I are, I mean, I just can't believe our stories are so identical. So, um, and then you've been, your husband, unfortunately, made a different choice, right? Yeah. And yes. he did go that way. And he passed away, what, a year and a half later? After he, a year and a half later, after diagnosis. He was 45, he was 43 and a half. Three and he died a half. at 45 at such a young age. And he did two bone marrow transplants in a year and a half. So he didn't really die from cancer. He died from fungal pneumonia because his immune system was compromised. Because of the chemo. See, that's people don't put that together. They go, yeah. oh, it saved my life. And then five years later, they die of something else. They don't connect the dots. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So yes, it kills yeah. the bad stuff, but it kills the good stuff. So wouldn't it make more sense to strengthen the immune system than kill the immune system and try to re revive it? Right? Which Absolutely. Is exactly yeah. yeah. So you you're way behind the eight ball when you're, well, when you're, you do you're chemo, you're so, you're so behind your yeah. Age, you know? yeah. Yeah. And especially at our age now, I mean, at 30, yeah. you probably could have handled it. Um, yeah. So what did you do? What was your protocol to get rid of the cancer? Yes. So I dove into juicing. I started, you know, juice. I, there was a juice place down the street for me, which was lucky. I had moved from New York to LA. So and there was, you know, it was Mrs. Gucci's at the time. So there was fresh produce and started oh, yeah. eating vegan and plant-based. And and I started doing yoga and hiking and also doing colonics. I did I went to naturopaths. I went into the whole yeah. dove into the holistic arena, which I absolutely love. And um, but I did do half the radiation they recommended because of my family and the people around me were so freaking out that I wasn't going to do anything. Um, I had to please them. I wish I hadn't because that's why I got the Hashimoto's and hypothyroidism was oh, from the radiation. They geez. radiated my thyroid. So that's how you got that. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Oh my. Okay. So now it all yep. comes from full circle. Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay. So then the cancer was gone. How soon after that? Like I was cancer free, like right after the radiation was done okay. and you know, nothing's ever come back, knock on wood and thank God. Um, yeah. When I was growing up, I was not a healthy kid. I always got sick, you know, everything that was anybody that was sick around me, I was always sick. My, I had a low white blood cell count when I was born. You know, I had to get blood shots. Like there was a lot of stuff going on with me. And I knew the chemo was just not right for me because I never felt well. I never felt energized. You know, I was always worried about getting sick and I labeled myself a sick kid or a sick person, you know, so all of that, that also downregulated my immune system as I learned later in my life that because I was living that way. Said it. You kept saying, "I'm sick. I'm sick." Your body, listen. You know, your brain is always listening, as Doctor Amen says, right? Yep. I don't know if you're familiar Absolutely. with him. He wrote a book on that, and it's so true. Yeah. And you know, I, I want to talk about this a little bit too, because you know, obviously, so you were saying you were you're burning the candle at both ends. You're trying to, you know, then you have the trauma of not you, then your 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 husband, um, and people don't, I think, 
they don't understand that this is such a precursor to cancer, you know? Yes. And yes. The, when I read Dr. Young's book, he said, you know, everything I was doing, the stress, under eating, you know, I'd skip meals, over exercising, yes. overdoing everything. And then once, you know, you're, you're, we're not machines. I say this to my client, we are not machines. Right. And right. so we have to understand that and we have to put the self care back in. So, Let's just go here for a minute. I know we got a lot to talk about, but I, I just go exactly where the conversation is going because, you know, I just did a, bre a breath work session last night. Oh, wow. I love those. <laughs> for two hours, you know, with 200 people in the room. And I did a, a intensive thing. So I've done four of these in like a month and a half. And I cannot tell you how that has shifted me because we have all these emotions and traumas and stress and everything in our body, unless we have healthy ways like, doing the breathing exercise, having our energy cleared, you know, eating the right foods, right. listening to the right things. I mean, the sound frequencies, right? All of it, you know, unless yeah. we do that to move the energy, the energy gets stuck and stale and that's what causes physical disease, right? Exactly, exactly. Yeah. And we so, are so disconnected, you know, our head is here, our body is here, we're not really connected. So all of those things do help you get reconnected. But I think our central nervous system is just like overstimulated, working overtime, you know, we're in a sympathetic nervous system response, not a parasympathetic. So yeah, it's not good how we're all living and how we were trained and taught to live. That's how we were taught. We weren't we, taught to meditate or take time out and take a nap in the afternoon. Or, you know, there wasn't like all the breath work. I love breath work. That's been a lifesaver for me as well. And I've done plant journeys just to like really clear the energy and also clear my past traumas. So, I want to talk to you about that because I, I'm, that I was, want to do that. I'm ready for that. You know, I, I really am. I feel like I'm ready for that. And um you know, you were just saying something and I just, I just, let's see. Well, I was going to say one of my favorite cancer books is Radical Remission. And she also wrote a book called Radical Hope. Have you heard of Kelly Turner? So no. she did her PhD and her, she has two fabulous books out. Um, Radical Remission. She interviewed stage four cancer cases and they healed uh -huh. holistically. So they didn't do Western meds. And so she yeah. came up with all modalities of how they healed. Um, it's such a beautiful book. It's like a hopeful book. I mean, cancer is really the word and how the medical community has treats us, you know, when you have cancer and a cancer diagnosis, it really is crazy, you know, in terms of the fear that they put into you. So basically these people really change their like stress and their emotional well being, And, you know, really had to fall back, fell, fall in love with themselves you know, really get planted and honoring who they are and taking care of themselves. They were like seven modalities were all about stress and emotional well-being. And the eighth one was food. The ninth one was supplements. And the 10th one was exercise. You know, outside of the stress, maybe not eating well, not exercising, all that. I think the worst is, is the self-hatred, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. and, you know, I, I turned 60 in November and it was just like I was brought to my knees. I, really? I, I, I had been feeling, well, it was prior to that, but I just, it was just like this huge opening. I mean, I was having a lot of anxiety. I was having a lot of depression. I, I found out that I had uh, celiac. I had leaky gut uh, and two more things. And most people don't know this, but so I was experiencing a lot of anxiety, a lot of depression. Like I didn't want to leave my room. I was, I wake up on a Saturday I didn't have any plans. I didn't have to be anywhere. And I'm filled with anxiety. Well, what I learned is that, you know, your gut produces 95% of the serotonin and dopamine. Everybody thinks it's your brain. It's not. So if your gut is not healthy, which we're going to go into with the foods and everything, then that, that's what caused it. And you used a word earlier. You said, you know, I felt I didn't I didn't know what would make me happy. And I felt detached. And I think that's that is the catalyst right there because you know we're so busy we're living in our sympathetic nerve it's actually the gamma brain is what it is the gamma and the beta brain those are the the uh, the, the sub the conscious mind what we really want to live in is the um alpha and the theta and that's the subconscious mind that's the meditative mind i'm i'm getting certified right now on how to be living in flow all the time like living in the zone yeah and i'm actually like living it and it's crazy it's like 
who would ever want to live that other life? You know, <laughs> when, you know, 60 came and then I became an empty nester, all this happened at once. And I was like, who am I? Who yeah. am I if I'm not doing a podcast? Who am I if I'm not a coach? Who am I if I'm not? A, that was a big one. When my son moved out, I've been a single mom since he was five and a half months old. So, yeah. you know, this is the, and you know, exactly what you said too, that we've been taught the opposite. Taking a nap, that's luxury. You don't do that. No, you work hard. You work as many hours as you need to, or two or three jobs or whatever. This is why our society is in the position it's in. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah. um, all right, we're going to go into your um, cleanse and everything first, but let's go into some aging hacks. Okay. I love that. That's my favorite part, the favorite thing to talk about because I'm six exactly. uh, three years older than you, a little bit. Um, yeah. And I have never felt better in my entire life. Like, I, I feel better than I did in my 30s. And, like, I so crazy. Yeah. I would be more 30. Like look better, right? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I definitely have more wisdom and have more challenge. You know, I've overcome more challenges. So of course, that helps. But yeah, no, just in like being able to really have really true self-love for myself and knowing what calm feels like and getting out of that place that I'm labeling myself, you know, a sick person or could get some other illnesses probably will. But I don't want to live there. Um, I mean, it's been game changing, plus the food, plus the sleep and, you know, just, sleep. Yes. yeah. And sleep. when you have anxiety and you have depression, I mean, I would wake up at one in the morning racing and I, I would be up the whole night and then I'd have to do calls all the next day. I'm like a zombie. Yeah. So yeah, that's yeah. awful. Yes. That's happening to a lot of us, you know, that's, that's becoming more and more of something that most people are dealing with the sleep yeah. and just to having, you know, anxiety and not being able to really write. We, we go, go, go through the day, but we don't take time throughout the day to chill ourselves out. So we can go to bed at night, but we're just, you know, racing through the day. And then we expect our body to just calm down and go to bed. And exactly. Yeah. yeah. And, you know, I'm guilty of it. I watch like, I'll, you know, I'll watch my TV, you know, mm -hmm. relaxing. But they say you really shouldn't have that on for like 45 minutes before you go to bed, you know? So, yeah. and also I did uh, unplug your router. It's yeah. like <laughs> with all this knowledge, it's like with all these things to do, honestly, to stay healthy, I'm like, it's surprising I can get anything else done. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of think the same way, like with the juicing and the, you know, making sure I get enough protein and the yeah. sleep and then the yoga and the, right. yeah, the meditation and then my you know, my, like my aura ring and the, okay. So I was just going to ask you that. Crystals. So, you ring. so you believe in that, right? Yeah. My brother has one too said that yeah. in case any, anybody doesn't know what that is, it's a ring that you wear and it tracks your sleep. Yes. But you know what, you know what, but <laughs> this is a question I have for you. So let's say you've done horribly the night before. Mm -hmm. I mean, aren't you going to sit there, go beat yourself up? I mean, like, I mean, yeah. I don't know. I mean, do you want to watch the stock market every day? Yeah. Nope. 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 And I, I agree with you. Like when I know I've had a bad night's sleep, I will not look at the ring. It okay. will depress me. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So it's exactly. a good and a bad thing. It's not, it's not always a great thing. No, it could be psychosomatic, right? Yeah. It can actually work against you. Okay. Totally. totally. All right. Let's tell, I, I need to, I need some, I need some aging hacks. So I, I would say, you know, I, some really simple aging hacks are, you know, of course, the first thing is, you know, try falling in back in love with yourself or uh, fall, you know, actually truly having a sense of, you know, honoring who you are and that you're important, that you belong here and, you know, you're doing great things in the world, um, whatever you're doing. So that's mm -hmm. huge. And then I would say, you know, my hydration is massive. So we have a dehydrated society. We have an epidemic going on. We don't have enough minerals in our soil and our food, and we're not absorbing minerals um, so that we absorb the water into our cells. So we're just drinking all this beautiful water potentially, and we're just peeing it out. So we're yeah. very dehydrated. So that also raises our cortisol, adrenaline. You know, we it, it, at, we're hungry maybe when we're dehydrated. You know. Women That's are true. Sometimes you think you're hungry. And if you just drink, yeah. but you're really not hungry. You're thirsty. So drink yeah. a good glass. I'm getting in the habit of doing that before I eat anyways. Yes. Yeah, so 94 ounces for women. I mean, it's, I think it's 124 for men. It's not half your body weight, really. That's it's, what I thought in ounces, half your yeah. body weight in ounces. So no, it's, it's not 94 that. ounces for women and about 124 for men. 
Um, every client that doesn't ounces. even get near to 94 ounces, you know? So How many for men? I think it's 124. Okay. And yeah. I use a mineral powder. There's a lot of great mineral powders out there. There's electrolyte. I use Ultima Replenisher. I've been using it for like eight years and it has magnesium, magnesium, potassium, sodium, zinc, has vitamin C. It has great minerals that help the water go into your cells and it curbs your appetite. It gives you energy. Um, I think that has been a home run. I do that every day. I dilute it because it has a little stevia in it, but I do try to get to that 94 ounces. My juice is usually like 16, 20 ounces. Um, so that counts as water? That does because it's not hydrate. It's not, it's hydrating. Because oh, it's okay. like so just celery juice counts as yeah. water. Yeah, it okay, would count so as a smoothie without, you know, a lot of sugar would count. A soup would count. You know, those things are hydrating. It's just when you're doing caffeine, you know, and I'll oh, put okay. and and I'll do aloe vera and I'll put yeah. my vitamin D. That's okay. That's I'm hydrating. Doing, I'm doing better than I thought. Yeah. Yeah, you know, exactly. I, do you know who Dr. Daryl Geoffrey is? Yes. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. he's got an amazing mineral one too. That's the one I do. And it's oh. one tiny little scoop. It's got all that. And he actually just came out with the magnesium uh, pill too. So he's sending oh. that to me, but he just, he just got right. that. Too. Yeah. So I agree with you. I, the yeah. minerals are very, very really important. Very important. And they also calm your central nervous system down. You know, they help with that. So, so it's really ashwagandha. Ashwagandha. Ashwag Ashwagandha is an adaptogen. So um, I, I've never really had, honestly, a lot of luck with ashwagandha, but I know it's pretty rampant out there and a lot of doctors and functional doctors and everybody are talking about it. I mean, I've had luck with holy basil. It's Tulsi tea, mm -hmm. T-U-L-S-I. Um, that, you put a tea bag into a cup, like, you know, I'm drinking it now, um, into eight ounces of water. It's a gram of Tulsi and holy basil is the, de the queen of adaptogens. It's the, it's the top. Really? Um, I've, I've had such luck with that because it will adapt to your stress throughout the day. If you're, if you're hyper, it'll calm you down. And if you're low energy, it'll bring you up. And it's just a tea. Yeah. It's pills too, but you don't, you can't get enough of the, in the capsule. So okay. the tea is beautiful because it tastes like iced tea. It tastes like tea. Okay. So I love that. I love it. Yeah, I can do I that. Love adaptogens. I mean, so I would say hydration. Uh, my juice is probably a home run. I've been juicing 30 years. So I do cucumber, celery, lemon, ginger, parsley, cilantro a lot of times. And I drink that almost five days a week, not probably seven. But cucumber, uh, celery, cilantro, parsley, lemon, parsley. and ginger. Lemon and ginger. I do lemon and ginger every yeah. morning with my water. Okay. Yeah. And that, it is, that, that good. it's filled with minerals, you know, yeah. lots of vitamins. I mean, it's super hydrating. It also lowers inflammation in your gut and your intestines. Um, and it's like, I think that's a home run for my anti-aging hacks. One of them. I, Hydration, yeah. the juice I'm getting. I try to get clients to do eight to 10 cups of vegetables a day. So I'm getting probably four or five in that juice. Which you is, know what? I used to live on vegetables. I yeah. love vegetables. I used to be a vegetarian. The older I get, um, my, my, I have gut issues. I still really? do. Yeah. And it's hard on my, my gut. You know, if I eat too many vegetables, especially if I eat it at like a big salad at night, yeah. Yeah. I pay for it. So, you know, and what, well, are you a vegetarian or a vegan? No. No, you're not. Okay. So you, do you believe in eating meat and poultry yeah. and fish? Yes. Everything. I, oh, I just don't eat like cow dairy and sugar and yeah. I try to watch my gluten, but I eat everything. Yeah. I, I'm highly uh, allergic to gluten, but I, okay. I just wondered if, if you, cause you know, the big rage is like carnivore, I, right? I'm like, I, I just know. don't think eating meat all day long can be good for you. I right. Know. For your digestive. No. Right. Or no. keto, which is fat and animal, you know, like if it, protein, I mean, used at this point. What do you think about um, intermittent fasting? I love it, but you not do. for everybody. It's not for everybody. Like there are definitely clients I talk to, their adrenals are taxed. You know, they have blood sugar issues. Um, I don't advise them to do it. So if you're in fairly good shape and health, um, then it, I think it's fabulous. Because I think our digestive system needs that break. We are constantly eating. Um, mm -hmm. And I don't know if you know, but it takes about 14 hours for animal protein, cow dairy to go through your small intestine and 90 minutes for a plant-based meal. Interesting. So you eat like what portion of your meal? Three quarters? Well, 
I would um, say, I would say no, I would say like a quarter is animal when I do the animal. Okay. I would say a half is like non-starchy leafy greens and a quarter is probably starchy, you know, complex carbs is kind of my perfect meal. Right, exactly. Um, and always antibiotic free, grass yeah. fed. People I don't try. understand that. Oh, well, no, think about it for a moment. You're ingesting that. You I know. know. I know the way the animal is. Y'all, I don't want to go. Yeah. That far it's down hard that. when you when you though eat out. It's really hard. You know I, the bad yeah. seed oils and the just the crappy stuff, the cheap stuff they use in the food. So that is hard. But if at home, if you're pretty, if you're really good and religious about it, yeah, you know what's going into it. But you know what? I even feel when I go out and I order, let's say, you know, piece of fish or this or that, I almost feel like it's a cheap meal because I don't know what's in it. Yeah, <laughs> true. Right. True. Yeah. yeah. Right. Yep. Very careful. Yeah. No, I would say so. I I would say the vegetables are a key. I'm a huge gut girl. So, you know, I'm always working on my gut. Right now, um, I've been taking colostrum, the bovine colostrum. That's what I started. That's where I found you too. Remember, I okay. I, yeah, I've been taking it. And oh I my god, to me, what is the brand that you use? Oh yeah, Raw Revelations is what I've been using. Um, okay. There is one all over Instagram right now called Amra. But I, um, I love yeah. raw revelations. And I have to tell you, my skin, my hair, my nails have never been better. And it's been about six months, seven months taking the cholesterol. I used to have a little bit of eczema on my fingers. Yeah. Um, and I was always embarrassed by it because I'm a nutritionist. I know what to do. I should know how to get rid of eczema. And it never went away. And then I started the cholesterol and it went away. So yeah. I have no... Eczema. Yeah, well, I mean, you are living proof. I mean, whatever you say you're taking, I'm taking. <laughs> I know, that gets a little dangerous because I, 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 do. I found you. I'm like, what? And, you know, like you said, and that's, that's I, yeah. I started watching. That was the first video I watched was when you were talking about it. I'm like, I'm writing it down. I yeah. got to get this. Um, I do. I take so. probiotics. I eat probiotic foods, you know. Yes. I, I've always been, I always try, I do like a stool sample once a year to see what's going on in my gut to lower any pathogen loads. I'm constantly working on clients, you know, lowering their viral, bacterial and fungal loads in their gut. Uh, we have a gut cleanse that we do here in Los Angeles and on it is activated charcoal for five days, which is really good for lowering bacteria and resetting your gut, you know, so for diarrhea. Yeah, no, no, it's for lowering bacteria in your gut. So it's great. I mean, it, I mean, if you have diarrhea, you might have a bacteria infection going on or some kind of, but it is fantastic for lowering, like resetting your gut. Okay. Just so for five days. Talk, yeah. What's that? Just for five days. You only need to do it for five days. For five days. Okay. Well, what's yeah. the seven day reset cleanse? So that I put together years ago because I've been doing for nine years a I cook and deliver a cleanse here in Los Angeles and every week and people outside of Los Angeles were asking me like for recipes and I can't get your cleanse because you won't ship it. So I put the seven day reset together so that they can get the recipes from the cleanse and cook them themselves and be able to like, you know, maybe somewhat do the cleanse, do the cleanse or sort of have healthy recipes and healthy tips on what we do. Yeah, I just did a three day gut cleanse too myself. Mm -hmm. You know, it's it, for, we, it, if you eat well, anyways, it was fine. I never, I wasn't really hungry. I was just like, right. this isn't just not a lot of fun. I mean, it's not, it's not very yeah. social or anything else. Uh, so that one is the actual, uh, that's the recipe, correct? Yeah, that's the one that people cook and, you know, prepare okay. themselves. And then we have, Two here in Los Angeles, the gut cleanse and a regular cleanse, which is both. And then we have a three day. So both of, you know, the gut cleanse um, and the regular can be three days as well. But we have five days. So we do that. And then we're com coming out. I'm doing one with a functional um, naturopath, Dr. Nigma Talib, who's fantastic. She's my doctor. And we're coming out with a SIBO cleanse. One that can really reset. That's yes. the one I had. That I had SIBO too. Yeah. 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 Oh, you get so it's a low FODMAP and yeah, it's like a hardcore. We have a whole formula she's created to lower, you know, the fungal bacterial in the intestines as well. Um, and then we're going to just rebuild people, you know, with 
low FODMAP foods as well as with soups and smoothies. And, you know, they will get, if they want some animal protein on it as well, just to make sure they're satiated. Right. Um, and then they'll be loaded up with probiotics. So I want to ask you a question. What, what do you feel about mushrooms? I mean, I know there's a lot of benefits in mushrooms, but yeah. if you have gut issues, it, it can be yeah. a little tricky. It can be right? a problem. Right. Yeah. Like I like, love them. I mean, the one I'm that I, I I can't drink kombucha, uh, kombucha anymore, and I used to love. I was drinking like one or two a day. Right. And he said, "No, you can't drink that anymore." So I, I mean, I love reishi. We have a reishi latte on our cleanse. Um, okay. I love that because it's so calming. Again, and I love lion's mane right now. I take lion's mane every day. I think it's like a home run for cognitive function, also for like relieving stress. Um, it's great for sleep as well. So I do agree with you. You know, if you have fungal yeast stuff going on in your gut, mushrooms are mushrooms. tricky. Yeah. Yeah. Cause they, they're making a lot of these drinks now. There was like I know. mud water. I've got, they're all the rage. It's, it's the big niche. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, and so tell us about the EG kitchen cleanse. This is where you, you're actually making, prepping, yeah. making the foods for people, yeah. right? So tell yeah, us. So how it came about just in a nutshell is I graduated from my certified program from Eastern and Western medicine and Cafe Gratitude hired me to put their cleanse together for them years ago. Um, so I did a five day raw vegan cleanse for them. Just putting, they did the food, but I just put all the marketing and the food together. Um, and I handheld the cleansers while they were cleansing. Then M Cafe, it's a macrobiotic restaurant in Los Angeles, hired me to do theirs. So both of those I did for like four and a half, six and a half years. I did one at Era One for a very short period of time. Um, I did some food for Earth Bar. Um, so it like then at the, at the time, my assistant's like, why aren't we doing our own? You know, it just seemed like, so we love soup and we just decided it was, we decided to start doing a soup cleanse is what it was called in the beginning. And it, oh, it still has the same tonic on it. It's a probiotic tonic with a coconut kefir, apple cider vinegar, aloe vera, lemon, ginger, cayenne, um, and, uh, and some extra probiotics as well. Mary Ruth's liquid probiotics. Then we have the homemade super seed bar we've been doing for years as well. Now we have these salads. Are, these are on your website, the yeah. seed, the granola, and the yeah. seed bar. Yeah. Exactly. Now we have five salads, five different salad dressings in the week, and we have fermented veggies in the afternoon, and we have different soups every night. Right now in the summer, we do a chamomile tea and a hibiscus tea, and then we give them digestive enzymes. We give them magnesium to help them, you know, clean out. So because there are a lot of legumes and beans and a little bit of grains on the cleanse, just when people go from animal protein and jump into a plant-based program, um, it can be rough. And then also we do have a homemade chicken bone broth too. We do vegan and regular. So yeah, I love do that. You, you, you believe in the bone, bone broth. I've heard yeah. a lot about that too. Yeah. And so, so you do the I do it again. It, it can be an issue if you have histamine responses, you know? So if, if you have a histamine response, bone broth can really disturb you. So what some is, of this what would be, stuff what would be a histamine response, like it's, nasal. What's it's histamine? no, it, it's really gut. It's a gut issue, you know, or um, um, it's really where foods, you know, you're responding to them and not a, a beneficial way. So whatever you're eating is not agreeing with you. Mm -hmm. So do you take anything like, do you know what NAD is? Where the NAD? NAD? NAD. Oh, oh, NAD. Yes. Yes. Okay. That is one of my anti-aging hacks. I give myself NAD injections every day. Okay. Well, listen, there's a new company out there that they have patches. So oh, you wow. Don't have to oh. Yeah. And they just sent them to me. And I just, I've been on them for the last couple of days. They're so easy. Oh my Learn God. Cause I'm power. definitely tired of giving myself shots. That's what, that's why they came out with it or going in there. And my doctor was giving himself shots too. Yeah. So yeah. I'll give you that information. Yeah. So you're up on all that. I mean, we could get, that, I love really that. I do, I do peptides. Um, yeah. I do the BPC one five seven for the gut. That's what my, my so. was, I think that too. Yeah. And last this year. Still, yeah, go ahead. I got COVID like for the first time. And I also, my antibodies came back. So, cause I have, you know, Epstein-Barr and the Hashimoto's. And when I got COVID, my antibodies came back. I felt so awful. I went and did ozone 
So, you know, where they take your blood and oxygenate it and put it back in you. And okay. after four sessions of the ozone, I felt like a different person. So anybody who has long COVID symptoms, if there is availability to investigate ozone in their area, it's a game changer. Ozone. Okay. Ozone. Yeah. It's kind of like PRP. No, it- not really. No. Like, I don't, I mean, is PRP, like... It, they do. Well, PRP, they take like I just had a PRP facial. They take your blood, yeah. they spin it okay. around, and they put okay. it back in your face. Okay, sort of. Yeah. And, and this they, is like, where they, they have, you know, they take it into the IV, auctionate it, put it back in the same day, same arm. Uh, yeah, same yeah, kind of same kind of thing. But it cleans up your blood and it kind it lowers all those bacterial, fungal, you know, things and that it's are going called ozone. Ozone. Yeah. You can see how many things are written down here. <laughs> Cleans blood. I also like hyperbaric chambers. <laughs> yeah. So I've done that too. And I did a show on that years and years and years ago. In fact, I thought about doing that and then the infrared sauna. I mean, like okay. I said, the- <laughs> there's a day list. We don't have time. Okay. I know. I know. <laughs> um, it's true. All right. And you do one on one coaching because you were saying earlier that you would take these people and you know, tell us about, what is that? That's my favorite. That's my favorite thing to do. Oh, it is. It is. I, I just love, because I have been through so much health wise myself, um, other than what you mentioned, you know, anxiety as well and insomnia and, you know, just like all kinds of things. And, um, I just, you know, I've been able to get my self past it. I know what it feels like to be in these situations and not feel good. Okay, so the ozone is that's for the cleaning the blood, you said, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's for okay. autoimmune, for cancer, for long COVID symptoms. Yeah, it's fabulous. Yeah. It's- Alyssa, there's so many things out there. I mean, you could spend your life researching these different brands because it's it, it, that's why I don't like social media sometimes because it, it's I was just saying this like everybody's like pick me, pick me, pick me. Like how do you do your research on this? So yeah, that's a things. real, that's a great question because I, you know, I started 10 years ago or maybe 11 or 12, but I, um, you know, got lucky because there wasn't as much out there as there is today, you know, the, and I just read everything. I read every book I get my hands on, you know, I just, I am so like obsessed with health and getting people healthy and me feeling good as I age. Um, because I never felt good most of my life until yeah. like in my fifties. So it's, I'm a little bit now obsessed cause I feel so great. I also read people's blood work. I do, um, I'm associated with a Rupa up in San Francisco and I can get thorough panels done of blood work, like with everything you need for like $270. It's crazy. Doctors don't even do what I'm doing. And they're, they always say to their clients, that's going to cost you a fortune, you know? I am finding and they're out. not looking for the same things that you're no. looking for. Right. That's I a big difference, people. You have to listen to yeah. this. Uh, you're yeah. right. Normal, your traditional doctor is going to run different tests than you would. You're looking for yeah. than you're looking for. Yes. And I worked with integrated functional GPs, natural paths in the last 10 years, hand in hand with my clients. And I've learned so much from them, you know, and I know what optimal blood levels should look like. So when I look at blood work, it looks within range, but I know why they're not feeling well and not having mental cognitive function. Um, Mm -hmm. Also, I'm picking up heavy metals like crazy on people, you know, especially in their blood. Like I do heavy metals on everybody. So um, hormones too, you know, women, doctors don't test DHEA, which is a precursor for testosterone and estradiol. And like our levels should be 200 and above. Everybody's are lower because their adrenals are so taxed, you know, I take DHEA. Yeah. So yeah. do I. So it's, it's kind of a lifesaver getting on a little bit of DHEA can really sit, be a lifesaver for hormones. You but know, what and- would you tell people, because I know people that they'll go, um, no, I'm not going to say the brand, but they'll just say, and I'm like, no, like some vitamins and supplements, actually, if it's depending upon the brand can actually work in reverse because they've got fillers and this and that. Yeah. So what does somebody look for just for their basic, you know, basic supplements? What would you say that they should look for? That's a great question too, because everything mostly out there has fillers and like additives to it. And also capsules are, can be a little bit tricky. We, have, we barely absorb 40% when we take them, you know, especially if our gut isn't healthy, that's also an issue. So I do like to 
tend towards liquids and powders. Um, there is something on the market right now that I've been using, which is AG1 greens powder. Um, it's definitely decent. I like the fact that it's a powder and you put it in water and it absorbs into your bloodstream really fast. Mm -hmm. You know, it doesn't cover all the bases, but it covers a lot of the bases. Um, there's brands that I have been very much energetically like tied to. Um, I'm always muscle testing my supplements also pure encapsulations, thorn, you know, quicksilver. There's brands that I am very, you know, well aware of that are really high quality out there. So, um, I, you know, I wouldn't use anything that is in high quality. Um, and also I steer, you know, steer people to, I get brands sent to me as well and I can see what's in them. And also yeah. I've checked out a lot of supplements over the years and I know what works and doesn't work. You know, you yes. can just, you know, if you're in touch and you're in tune with your body, you know that this supplement is working for you or it isn't. So exactly. It's, exactly. Yeah. And tell us a little bit about, so your one-on-one -on -one coaching, somebody comes to you. Is that what the first thing you do? Do you give them a stool test and a blood test? No, because a lot of times um, I just started doing the, the blood test and stool test in January, but a lot of times I'm really, they'll tell, they'll have blood work themselves from the doctor. Um, I, I work with a lot of very sick people like autoimmune and digestive issues and um, also sleep and hormones and cancer. So they are coming to me, you know, with their blood work usually, which isn't very thorough, but, and they're coming to find out, you know, what kind of foods to eat, what they should be, how they should be sleeping, you know, what they can do for their stress. Um, and then add it on, what are some supplements that you think would be beneficial for me? I do spend about 30 minutes kind of finding out 20 to 30 minutes, finding out about their life, stress, the what was growing yeah. up, right? All yes, that you stuff. Completely pinpoint what, yeah. yeah. What, what's it's going real. On. it's usually pretty easy for me. It's wild. I love people also too. And yeah. so I love to hear their story and mm -hmm. find out, you know, what's going on stress-wise and sleep and then what's gone on in their life prior to all of this health issues that are happening. And usually they tell me within an hour exactly why they're sick, why they're where they're at. You know, yeah. I mean, they even tell me what they need. It's wild. And I'm like, look at that. You know, you called me to tell me, ask me what you need. And you're telling me what you need. So it's pretty wild. There's a famous, in fact, I used it the other day. Uh, I'm, I don't remember who it was, but they, I, they said, I don't know. I said, well, if you, that was, it was a client. I, they said, I said, well, if you didn't know, what would it be? When you reframe that question like that, they usually have the answer. The answers are inside of you. They really are. And you know what? You know, I, this is all I would say, like, you've had cancer, I've had cancer. And I remember I never was like, oh, why me? And never went in the victim role. I remember I was sad. I remember I was sad because my son, 2011, what was he, 2004, he was born in 2004. So he was young still, but I was yeah. sad. But but I think, um, oh, I just lost my train of thought again. <laughs> I mean, going into the poor me, you know, yeah. victim mentality and... Yeah. Yeah. And did you know uh, yeah. why you got the cancer? Did you, did you kind yeah, of know I, what's you know, going once on? I, once I read his book, I'm like, I'm stressed mm -hmm. out. Yeah. I, I, it made sense to me. Oh, that's what I was going to say. Don't think it's a death sentence. In fact, I think it was a, a blessing to me. I know that's going to sound really crazy, but if I'd not right. had that, I wouldn't have changed everything that I'm doing now. That was, you right. know, two, that was 11. I, I, how many years ago? 14 years ago. I'm not great at math, but yet. So I do feel like it was a blessing and you know what cancer or any disease is just going, Hey man, I'm out of alignment here. Yeah, Help me totally. out. It's not yeah. necessarily a death sentence. I've seen people that had four stage cancer, you know, come back from, yeah, from heal. strength and stuff. And it's also yeah. your thoughts and your mind, yeah. you know, it's diabetes, my body. huh? All these illnesses. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. No. So how do people get in touch with you for the one? Uh, would they go to your website for the one? Yeah. one? On the web, or they can actually DM me on Instagram um, too. Okay. So, um, and also fill out a form just to uh, be able to see me on Instagram through Instagram. And, that's um, on your yeah. Instagram, and right? website, it's just AlyssaGoodman.com. And, and that's you know, I use a newsletter every week that I send out and I have a recipe and a health tip that I put out every week as well. So, so they can sign up for the newsletter on your link yeah. and Instagram too. Yeah. Okay. And on and Instagram, it's, it's Alyssa Goodman too, with two S's yeah. on my S S A G Goodman, G O O D M. -N. All exactly. right. 
three takeaways, just three <laughs> simple things for our listeners when they, yeah. you know, yeah. simple, easy, simple, just to get started. Right, right. So I would say, I would say, you know, um, people probably don't know this, but between 10 and 2 a.m. is when the body resets. Yes. So I did not know that there's until any body. chance that, you know, you can go to bed a little earlier than you normally do because it's like usually midnight one, mm -hmm. you know, you're so like, you'd be a different person the next day and you can't catch up that time. That is the four hours when the body is resetting. So if you sleep mm -hmm. in till nine or 10, it's just, it's not the same. Mm -hmm. So that that's crucial with the sleep. I'm um, glad so you brought that up. Yeah. Um, the, the hydration, you know, getting minerals in your water. If you want to try, I love the Ultima Replenisher. I can't live without it. I travel with it. Um, it's a lifesaver. And um, that has just been amazing for motility, you know, making sure I go to the bathroom every day and just calming yeah. my sense of nervous system and energy and mental clarity. That's crucial. And I would say there's so many things to say, but I would say, you know, really the veggies are really what my go to are. I mean, juicing or, or soups, you know, yeah. a cup of soup a day, or just getting those vitamins and minerals and antioxidants and phytonutrients into that body. And in a, in a smoothie in a juice in a soup is, is life changing. Cause you it don't really have to do it very, you know, it easily goes into the system. So do you I know what I just thought of? Have you heard of that app? Yucca? Y U K A? No. No. Oh, you got, when you get off here, you're going to go crazy. Okay. So you download it. It's a little carrot, just so everybody knows. It's a little carrot. And there's a scanner, and you scan the barcode of anything, and it'll rate it from zero to 100. Oh, wow. So it, okay. yeah, it'll stay poor, and then it'll tell you why. It's got too much sugar, too much sachet. It's amazing. So you, if I kind of answered my own oh, question. Yeah. Not, but So I wonder if it works on vitamins. I would think it does. I've been using it on foods. I mean, you'll right. start to see everybody using this app. So I think that's a great thing yeah. um, too. And that's, that's absolutely. And that yeah. these soups that I got, all four of them were like rated 98. So, um, yeah. and that's, yeah. that's really easy to eat too. So um, yeah. you know, I could talk to you all day and um, <laughs> I will meet you at some point. We will do yes. a very long lunch or, or yes. spend you doing something. And I love it. Such a pleasure having you on. Yeah. And when your book comes out, do you have any idea when your book's going to be coming out? Next year, at least. Um, I, I hope like the beginning of the year. So um, that's four months away. So yeah, not too we'll long. So when your book comes up, comes out, and we'll talk yeah. about your book. Yep, that sounds okay. great. It was great meeting you, and it was fabulous having this conversation with you. So Me, thank you. I, I, I wholeheartedly <laughs> agree. And thank you everybody for tuning in. Um, we will see you next week. Everybody have a fantastic day and rest of your week.